Beneath the waters of the River Mersey lurks a supersized grime problem. This is the PO ferry Norbank, continually running the Liverpool to Dublin route. The Norbank's 167 metre long hull has been underwater for two and a half years. Unseen, a crust of marine growth has built up. Today, they're going to clean nearly 7,000 square metres of hull. That means getting the Norbank out of the water, so it's into one of Europe's biggest dry docks at the Camel Laird shipyard on Merseyside. Getting 17,000 tonnes of ship perfectly lined up is Graham. I direct the lads which way they've got to go, left port, starboard, and that's basically it. Like, But this is like critical part of it. It's got to be spot on. They're going to drain the dock. Under the water is a set of wooden blocks already in place to support the ship. Graham's job is to make sure it's in exactly the right place. If it misses the blocks, the hull could be severely damaged. What happens if you get it wrong? Yeah, I'll have to go to Price Street and sign on. <laughs> Graham lines the ship up by eye. The team use ropes to pull the huge ferry into place. We've still got to adjust, like I have to keep telling the lads port and starboard. Because it's quite windy today, it, it moves, so I keep telling them which way to pull it. So at the moment we're dead centre, so everything's good at the moment. In the control room, they're getting ready to pump the water out. We've got like two main main pumps, which are capable of pumping 78,000 gallons a minute. That's two, each pump does that. The dock capacity itself holds something like when it's full, 36 million gallons of water. Uh, we're looking at uh, three hours today for the pump down. Basically, now we've just got the ship bang in position. Up the, uh, the fan on. Fan on! With the giant dock gates closed, the dock is pumped down. Finally, the Norbank's hull sees the light of day for the first time in two and a half years. As expected, it's covered in a grungy crust of barnacles, mussels and assorted marine life. It has to come off. But for the moment, they can't do anything about it. The Norbank can't be cleaned because it's sitting on nearly two acres of mud. It's silt from the Mersey that's flooded in when they last filled the dock. Before they clean the ship, they've got to clean the dock. On Merseyside, the PO Ferry Norbank is out of the water for the first time in two and a half years. It's not a pretty sight. The huge hull is encrusted with marine life. Seawater inlets are a seething mass of mussels. It's got to be totally cleaned and refitted in just a few days, then back onto the Liverpool Dublin ferry route. Norbank is sitting in the huge dry dock at the Camel Laird shipyard. Just now, it's anything but dry. The water's gone, but the bottom of the dock is thick with Mersey mud. It's an unavoidable problem. Getting the silt back into the river where it belongs is Paul Bramwell. When they open the gates, at the bottom, the mud rushes in. And now they have to wash it back out again using a bit of power, a bit of water and a lot of muscle. This is going to take years, eight to ten hours. Every one of those hours is an hour when the hull isn't being cleaned. You do get full of mud, yes. <laughs> With the mud gone, the cleaning gear is craned in. Just a few hours ago, the dock was filled with 36 million gallons of water so every bit of kit has to be dropped in over the side. Finally, the experts can get a look at the underwater ship. In 2007, the Norbank was given a revolutionary non-stick paint system that's supposed to make it hard for marine growth to stick to the hull. Technical manager Hans Pronk is keen to see how it's performing. You see, it rinses off so easily. It's also, in the total budget cost, will reduce cleaning costs as well. So, uh, actually, it is a win-win situation uh, for us, this product. The high-tech paint is looking good. 
But the many seawater inlets around the ship could be a bigger problem. As you see, a lot of marine growth, like mussels, that's much, much, much harder to get off. Yeah, it is really tough. Yeah, and if these mussels sticks into a pump, you get damage to the pumps. The Norbank uses seawater for engine cooling, adjusting the balance of the ship and the fire safety system. The inlets are great places for mussels to breed. Seawater containing oxygen and food is delivered to their doorstep. So the mussels have to go. This is a real hard material uh, to remove. Hans isn't only worried about the mussels he can see. Baby mussels can get through filters and into the engine cooling system where they grow and block the pipes. There's nothing worse than a mussel in your pipes. But getting rid of them is a huge job. In Merseyside, the team at Camel Laird have to race against the clock to clean the huge grime-encrusted hull of the Norbank. One of the men on the jet washer is Tom. He's not from round these parts. Let's take all the, uh, all the moss off and all the barnacles so it's get ready for painting. You feel it there, you can see that it's slimy. It's just like a moss. You rub it like that, but this shit isn't too bad, to be honest with you. Once we start washing it, it should just come off. It's like a carpet. The main weapon in cleaning the hull is a high-performance pressure washer. It delivers 1,500 pounds per square inch. Not the sort you'd use on your car. Oh, just <laughs> rip your car to bits, to be honest with you. Like, I reckon if you put it, it's that powerful, it would, it would probably cut into that, cut into the, mud, into the wood. Dangerous things if you haven't been taught how to use it. Like, People will just think that it's just a basic everyday job like washing a car, but it's, as you can see, it's not, you know what I mean? The underwater hull is the biggest part of the job. The high-tech paint means the barnacles come off quickly, but on the waterline, it's a different story. Up there, it's like, it's like a thicker, thicker muscle that's going to be harder to come off than that is. That's just like a slime. That's more like a carpet up there, it's like thick. So that's probably going to be the worst part. The Norbank was launched in 1993 and is constantly assaulted by sea life on the eight-hour return trip between Liverpool and Dublin. Three starfish here, yeah? just to fell out of one of the tanks at the bottom. There's all kinds of stuff in there, crabs and everything, fish, all kinds. As well as being rid of all unwelcome marine visitors, she'll be painted top to bottom and get a full service, all in eight days. If they get it right, she won't be back for at least two years. As Tom's keen to point out, not everyone could do this job. There's a more than just painters, you know what I mean? Marine anti-corrosion technicians we are. Well, painters, basically. The marine slime isn't the only thing feeling the pressure. The cleaning team knows this job must be finished on time. Back in Liverpool, it's the final day in dry dock for MV Norbank, the P&O ferry having a super-sized wash and brush up. She's looking a lot smarter than when she docked eight days ago. But she's not quite finished. Although most of the paint will last another two years, some damaged sections must be replaced. But they ran into a problem. Here's ship manager Tony Scaife. And we're just putting the finishing touches to the anti-fouling paint on the hull here. We were short of paint this morning, a couple of jumps short. Uh, that's now arrived in the yard, and so we're applying that. Uh, we should be finished today, and we'll be clear of the dock then. It's not just the hull that needs cleaning. Even the giant ship's propellers get crusted in marine growth. We bring a, uh, a specialist subcontractor, and they specialise in polishing the propellers. On well, the main propellers, they get a, a good fuel saving as well. If the propellers are working properly, everything's clean, they get, a, they get a fuel saving. Because they've been worked on, the propellers need to be dry tested before the ship's allowed back in the water. To help the Norbank manoeuvre, the huge blades can swivel to generate reverse thrust. They seem to be moving fine. It's been a huge job. Working on these ships is a massive job. Got the paint uh, just for, the, for this paint job this time around. It's, it's only a touch-up job, but uh, we've used up to 1,700 litres of paint this time. With the dock due to be flooded, ship manager Tony Scaife and technical manager Hans Pronk are checking that everything will be ready and likely to pass the final inspection. 
Okay, Hans, so the, uh, the cleaning of the hull's gone quite well. Uh, we've prepped all the mechanical damage to the paint and we've touched up where we need to. That should buy us another two years. Ready for your next dry docking? Yes, yes. During this two week dry docking, we've uh, done the cleaning and the painting of really much, pretty much the, uh, the whole ship. That's uh, the underwater area, the blue sides that you can see, and also the white top sides. The MV Norbank is fit for another two years' hard work in the Irish Sea. One supersized ship has been cleaned of grime. Thank you.